Welcome to the last set of news. My name is Rob. And on the heels of what's going on with the staking fiasco was the SEC stepped in and essentially shut down the staking prospects for the U.S.-based crypto exchange Kraken. We're going to take a look at what the uh, chair, Gary Gensler, is talking about and what this actually means for you. So the first thing is we have to take a look at what was the message yesterday that the chair, Gary Gensler, put out as far as staking and how this is going to affect moving forward. And we can really all find all the answers in what he talks about here in this video. It's about three minutes long. Maybe listen to it and we'll go over some details. In the crypto markets, there are various ways to validate data stored on crypto ledgers called blockchains. And one of these ways is called staking. Investors lock up their tokens in escrow and help validate the next block of data. Some stakers are then rewarded with new tokens. Staking, though, can be complicated and time consuming and can take big upfront commitments of tokens. There's also the risk that you won't get new tokens even if you stake. Thus, crypto entrepreneurs started offering what's called staking as a service. No, not like the steakhouse. Basically, if you transfer your tokens to a staking as a service provider, they take control, possibly pooling your tokens with thousands or millions of others while promoting returns. But here's the rub. When a company or platform offers you these kinds of returns, whether they call their services lending, earn, rewards, APY, or staking, that relationship should come with the protections of the federal securities laws. That means you, the investor, should receive important disclosures. For example, what do they actually do with your tokens? Are they really staking them? Are they lending, borrowing, or trading with them? Are they commingling them with their other businesses? Where do the rewards come from? Are you getting your fair share? Are the underlying crypto protocols genuinely creating value on your investment? Or are they just new tokens that dilute the value of ones you already have? Remember, if you have a stake, that's S-T-E-A-K, if you have a stake meant for two and cut it into three pieces, it's still the same amount of stake. Unfortunately, because these staking as a service providers generally are not providing proper disclosures, there's currently no reliable way as an investor to know the answers to these important investment questions. Plus, when you sign on the dotted line or accept the terms of service, you are generally agreeing that placing your tokens with these providers may mean transferring your ownership to them. There's an expression in crypto, not your keys, not your crypto. You see, you're basically an investor in their platform. If it goes under, and we've seen plenty of that recently, you end up in line in the bankruptcy court. That's why it's so important that these companies and platforms comply with the securities law. After all, the securities laws, regardless of what you think of stake or staking, they're good for investors. So before we go off on the deep end and just talk about how wrong Gary is and demonize him and everything else, you have to understand where he's coming from. He's coming from the position of what happened with FTX, with the co-mingling of funds. And then I got to tell you, on some of these platforms, I started to have some of my questions myself as far as when you would take your crypto, put them over there, were they really staking what they were doing? Were they really taking that or were they rehypothecating? Were they putting it out there and what were they doing? So like in these situations, I can understand where he's coming from on that because were they really actually doing it? Well, that's up to the SEC to determine. And then also, if we take a look at some of the projects that are out there, when he talks about transferring your crypto into some other entity or to have somebody hold it for you or lock it up where you can't take it out, that's another consideration, actually. What is going on behind the scenes? And whether you love Ethereum or, 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 or hate Ethereum or, or whatnot, there is a point where you had to you know, fork over your Ethereum and, and get it locked up over there. I'm not saying that it was uh, what Gary is saying here. I'm just saying there are different perspectives 
as far as what's going on with each different platform. Centralized platforms, not a fan, never agreed with that. And also the different uh, types that are going on in the decentralized way. So whether you, if, if you, if you uh, love uh, uh, Ethereum or hate Card uh, uh, Ethereum, or if you love Cardano or hate a Cardano, you have to take a look at this. There was a video put out by Charles Hoskinson, head of IOHK, who talks about this staking and regulation. He pretty much echoes the same sentiment I'm having here. And again, whether you love Cardano or hate Cardano, you have to tip your hat at how they did things with the staking prospect. I did a video and this is, and it's, it's kind of eerie because I did this, this video, this is like the updated one in 2021 from 2020. And I talk about this exact same thing in the very beginning, as far as lending your crypto out to these platforms and what they're doing behind the scenes and how dangerous that could potentially be. So when you watch this video, I'm going to have play it right now. It's a little longer. It's an 20 minutes plus. I'll put some timestamps in, but I want you to really think about what Gary talked about rehypothecation, how things are moving, if they stay in your wallet or if you are giving them away to somebody else, how to verify these things. And I got to tell you, I think Cardano knocked out of the park here with staking. So just take a watch. And also I want to address one of the biggest questions that I get about the DNU stake pool, which is, uh, Rob, why would I want to delegate to your stake pool when I can just leave it on some type of uh, exchange or some type of brokerage and earn roughly around 5%? And the answer is, you can do that. You can keep your cryptocurrency on all those exchanges and brokerage, and that is fine. That's actually quite easy. The problem is, is that when it's on those exchanges and those brokerage, you are not in control of your cryptocurrency, which means that the way that you gain yield is not usually from staking. It's usually from them giving it away or lending it out to different other exchanges or to different uh, institutions where they can, uh, of course, it's called rehypothecation. They can short it, they can long, they can do whatever they want to it. And uh, also, uh, based on the terms of service uh, videos that we've done, and we've done multiple uh, videos on that, that they're not responsible if something happens to your crypto, any kind of hack or anything that's, uh, that is missing, lost or stolen. So just be aware that uh, they are, uh, in control of your crypto and you are not. And that's what makes the Cardano staking pool so uh, attractive uh, because you are in control. Your uh, cryptocurrency never leaves your wallet. And that means that uh, it is your keys and your crypto. So that hopefully will answer that question. Again, you can do whatever you want to, but this also helps to secure the network. Uh, so what we're going to do today is just go through uh, different things that we talked about. We're starting with uh, proof of work versus proof of stake, the DNews rewards, an epic cycle, ADA staking versus ETH 2.0, staking fees, the Daedalus wallet, how to stake with Daedalus, Yolroy, and ADA Lite, and then also what separates us from, I think, a lot of different uh, stake pools is uh, the charity called Kiva. So let's just jump right in and get into it and start off with proof of work versus proof of stake. Big stuff. So let's break it down to the basics. A POW system or proof of work system is the kind that Bitcoin uses where a, a bunch of computers solve complex math problems and they get a reward, which is uh, more Bitcoin. Now Cardano is different. Cardano uses a proof of stake system, which is like a lottery, and each ticket is one Cardano token. So the more tickets you have, the greater chance you have to win the lottery prize. And that prize is the opportunity to validate a block and add it to the Cardano blockchain. When you win this opportunity, you must be online at the exact time of winning, or else this opportunity will go to the next Cardano holder and you could miss out on the chance to claim that reward. Or you could simply delegate to a stake pool like DNews, which is up and online 24-7, 365, so there's never a chance you won't miss out on rewards. Now, as far as rewards, expect to receive approximately 4 to 6% annually, which really, I mean, it's pretty good for just delegating. Now, rewards are paid out every epic, and a Cardano epic is every five days. Your initial delegation stake may take about two to three epics to receive rewards, which is like 10 to 15 days. But after that, expect your rewards every single epic. Now, to clarify this point, there is a nice little graphic that I like to use called the delegation cycle. 
And it really depends on when you start to delegate. So if it's at the very beginning of an epic at like, let's say 213, it will take you a while to start to receive those rewards. If you stake at the tail end of a particular epic, then it'll be a little bit shorter. So just so you know, that is exactly how these things work out. Now, delegating your Cardano does not put your ADA at risk as your Cardano stays in your wallet. Your Cardano is absolutely not locked up. You can unstake at any time and you're free to move. So there's no lockup time frame or anything of that kind of nonsense. Also, there's no minimum requirement to stake and you can add or remove your Cardano at any time for staking at the DNews uh, staking pool. Also, stake pools such as DNews are trustless, which means that we don't receive your rewards and then disperse them to you. Actually, what happens is a Cardano protocol determines your rewards and pays out automatically directly to your wallet. Now, another great benefit of Cardano staking and choosing a stake pool such as DNews is that there are no slashing penalties. With Ethereum 2.0, you could get a slashing penalty or have part of your stake ETH reduced, taken away, or just simply burned for errors on the validator's part. And this could be intended or not intended. So this actually does not happen on the Cardano network. And this is why we're excited to be staking on it. Now, the worst that could happen is that you won't be rewarded for a block. But even that won't happen here at DNews as we have, again, 24-7, 365 monitoring by Grafana and Kubernetes through the Microsoft Azure, which is enterprise class. It's highly secure and it's proven as one of the most reliable sources, which is why we picked it. Now, it's it's pretty expensive to run on it, but it's one of the ones or the best ones out there. And it's why we went in that direction. Now, there's two fees for the DNU stake pool. There's a 340 fixed fee, which is mandatory by the Cardano Foundation for all pool operators. This is automatically taxed from all the rewards that the pool collects. So this fee is spread out over the entire pool. Now, some other pools may charge more, but we charge the absolute bare minimum. The DNU's stake pool margin fee is 5%. That means that if you make 180A, then the rate to the DNU's pool is 580A. Now, some charge more and some charge less, and but with our platform, reliability, uptime, security, and competitive fees, I think we have a great choice for you to stake your Cardano. So let me break down these two fees in further detail. So if we're talking about the 340 fixed, that is between all of the delegates for the DNU stake pool. So that would be pretty expensive if it was just one person who had to pay the whole 340, but thankfully in our stake pool, we will have thousands of people and that 340 ADA fee will be dispersed among thousands. So uh, if we have 340 delegates, that means that each person will pay one ADA. If we have 680, that means that only pay uh, half an ADA and uh, on and on down the line. Now, as far as the 5% fee, let me break that down even further. So if you staked a thousand ADA uh, with the DNU stake pool, uh, that would mean that you would make between 40 to 60 ADA per year because that is the industry average between uh, 4 and 6% for the rewards. So these are your, your rewards, 40 to 60. So we are not charging 5% on what you stake, which would be 5% of 1,000. We are charging uh, 5% of your rewards. So that means that if you earn 40 to 60 ADA, so uh, somewhere around there, that means that uh, the staking or the fee ex would be only two to three ADA that you would have to pay. And that is essentially it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how easy it is to stake with the DNews pool. I'm gonna use the Daedalus, Yoroi, and ADA Lite wallet. And this is our official website for the DNews staking pool. And real quick, let me just walk you through it. So uh, up top, let's click on home. Let's go to the very top. The very top of the page, of course, when you scroll over, got a nice little little effect there. This is everything about DNews, about what we just talked about. Owner pledge or my pledge is gonna be 75,000. Uh, transparency, and then you can check everything here as far as like ADA pools and just take a look at what the pool is actually doing, how well it's performing everything else. Uh, fees and reliability uh, on Microsoft Azure, 
Kubernetes with a 99.9% uptime for max blocks minting. And then there's a little snippet here about uh, Cardano itself. This is a nice little video from uh, Charles where he goes into details about what Cardano is, why it's a third generation blockchain, what they plan to do and everything else in between. Pretty good, but it's kind of long, about an hour or so. You can, you can check the roadmap here, the cardano.org, IOHK, which is actually what they, the, the building part and Emergo, which is the enterprise arm of Cardano. So just take a look at that. And then this is just a quote that I feel this is why I did do the things that I do. And it's because trust is a currency you can't buy. Uh, you've seen on this channel that when I talk about things, I try to be as, as precise and honest and open as I possibly can. And uh, that is, I think, why uh, you're here. Also with, with the website, danteachescrypto.com, just a regular website, that is 100% free. I don't charge anything for that. I want people to come in here and learn all about cryptocurrency digital assets. And this is just what uh, I feel should be done at this time. So then moving down, here's where we have the staking wallets, uh, Daedalus, Uroi, and ADA Lite. And you can secure links here so there's no confusion as to where you can actually get them. These are the ones that I've tested out. These are the exact websites and places you can go to download these three wallets so there is uh, no scamming going on, which I always hate. So just check those out. And then moving forward down, uh, this is the exact same video we're talking about here, how to stake, some FAQs, and then this is how we compare to other pools. Now, in all honesty, uh, starting up a stake pool, I thought would be a lot easier, but it is a lot of work and there's a lot of things going on, a lot of moving parts. And really, it is its own entity. It's a, it is its own business. So if you're out there looking at pools and you don't see them kind of like treating this as a legit business, then be a little bit leery because over here I can see exactly how much work it's going to be. And uh, again, it is a its own separate business. All right, so let's uh, go up here and let's show you how easy it is to stake with all three of the most common Cardano wallets out there. Uh, the Daedalus, Yoroi, and ADA Lite wallet. Now, just a quick note, uh, you can only stake your Cardano to the DNews pool with these wallets so you can't have your ADA tokens sitting on an exchange and stake from there to our pool, or actually any pool, it's not really how it works. So again, if you need to download a wallet, just choose one of these three, they're all solid choices. The Daedalus wallet uh, makes you download the entire Cardano blockchain, which takes a bit, but the Yoroi and ADA Lite wallets do not. So there's that's an option for you. Okay, uh, let's start with the Daedalus wallet and I'll show you exactly how easy it is to stake using this wallet. All right, great. So here we are in our Daedalus wallet. This is our demo wallet. So very easily on the left-hand side, you got your wallets, uh, ITN, and some settings. We're gonna click on this little icon right here. Looks like a little square. And it's gonna have delegation center, stake pools, rewards, and info. And of course, this is our Cardano, current Cardano Epic. Remember those are every five days. Next Cardano Epic is another four days. So that is just what it is for right now. So, so what I wanna do is go to stake pools and I'm gonna search for the stake pools. I'm just gonna put in D news and there we are. Of course, we're not doing so hot right now because we are brand spanking new. So we're waiting for everybody to come on in, but uh, this will all change. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on D news, give us all the information. The official staking pool of digital asset news, power of Microsoft Reserve. Same thing we just talked about, the rank, the pool margin, the pledge, and all that good stuff. So we're going to delegate to this pool. And this little guy's going to pop up, wallet selection, stake pool delegation, continue. So we're going to select a wallet. And remember, it's pretty much all or nothing. So you can have multiple wallets in Daedalus, uh, but whatever you choose will be, it's going to be the entire amount of what you delegate. So for this one, I'm going to delegate a whopping 21 ADA. I'm going to click continue. And it's going to say, do you want to do this? And of course, yes. So just so you know, these other pools right here, the one, two, three, four, five, these are the top pools that are there. But if you see that little bar right there, that green bar, that means that they're saturated. And when they're all the way full, that means that there is the limit of 63 million. Now it used to be around 205 million for the Cardano uh, saturation point, but they reduced that to 63 million. And past that point, you get diminishing rewards. So I would not recommend to uh, sign up for any pool that is already saturated. We monitor all that. If we become saturated, we will let you know in advance and we will start up in another pool. And that day is today. Today it is March 23rd, 2021. And we now have two 
stake pools for DNews. We have DNews 1 with a rating of 433, and DNews 2, which we just started up about a month ago, had 556. And you'll notice that DNews 1 has the bar right in the middle, as does DNews 2 uh, at 556 with the bar right in the middle. So what is going on here? Well, what we have here is that for our DNews stake pool 1, we have over almost 1,600 delegates or people who have delegated to our stake pool, and we have almost uh, over 30 million 209,008 ADA, and our saturation point is 46.8%. On our DNews 2, we have almost 1,500 delegates or people who have delegated to our stake pool at uh, over 27 million ADA being staked to this particular pool with a saturation point of 42.5%. So why did we make two stake pools when we didn't need to? Well, it's quite simple. At the end of March, the Cardano Foundation was going to reduce the amount of ADA per stake pools from, in the beginning it was over 200 million, then it went to 63 million, which is what is that currently. And they were going to reduce that from 63 million to only 32 million at the end of March. So we decided we would be proactive and create two separate stake pools so there was no oversaturation. So right now, uh, as it stands, you can safely delegate to DNews1 or DNews2, and we are only at 50% saturation at both of these different pools. So the question then is, well, what will happen if you stake to a pool that is oversaturated or over the 63 million allowed ADA per stake pool? Things like this will happen where once the it, uh, the ADA or, or ADA delegations become more than what is allowed, you start to have people lose rewards like it, what is happening right here with, uh, with this stake pool. We do not want that to happen, so we're trying to be proactive uh, before these issues come about. And that's what's best for everyone so that nobody loses any rewards. All right, so that takes care of that piece. Let's continue on with the video where I can show you how to sign up uh, for the Daedalus wallet to stake into the DNews. So we're gonna click on continue. And there's always a fee, of course, a little bit uh, 0 0.17. That's not for us, that's the Cardano fee. We're gonna type our spending password. Again, do not give this out to anybody. This is your spending password, kind of like your private key. So I'm gonna put this in, I'm gonna stop the video. Click confirm, and voila, we are done. Stake from the wallet is now delegated the news stake pool. And just like we talked about, sometimes it takes you know two epics or three epics to really start to get everything moving, and this is exactly what it says. In nine days, one hour and 40 minutes, that's when you can expect everything to really get moving. And that is as easy as it gets. So that's a Daedalus wallet. Let's move over to the Yorai wallet. So here we are on the Yorai wallet. This is my Yorai demo. I'm just gonna click on that. And it's super simple. I'm gonna go to the delegation list. I'm gonna search by ID. I'm just gonna put in D news and click search. And there it is. So I'm gonna click on delegate. So now I'm gonna delegate this wallet to DNews stake pool. So it's pretty much an all or nothing. It's either the total amount or no amount. And you can break up your wallets. You can create other wallets if you don't want to do the whole thing and do that that way. But for this one, to make it simple, it's going to put 19.8. There's fees for on the Cardano network, which is uh, already put in. I'm going to put in my spending password. Again, do not give this to anybody. And I'm going to click on delegate. Great, and it's already done. Successfully delegated. Track the status of the stake pool and the amount of time remaining to receive reward for the dashboard from the dashboard page. We're gonna click on dashboard page. And this is where for in the, in the Yoroi, you can check everything out. So that is it for Yoroi, pretty easy. Again, you can add as much as you want to, take it all out, unstake, whatever you wanna do. That's the beauty of the Cardano network. So here we are on the ADA Lite wallet. So up here, obviously I'm gonna click on staking. So one thing you'll notice is that the default stake pool is the ADA Lite stake pool. So if you want to get to DNews, all you have to do is first of all, wipe this away, don't need this. We need the stake pool ID. And to make this very simple, I actually put this right underneath the ADA wallet ID. We're just gonna copy this. And then we're gonna come over here to ADA Lite and we're going to paste it. And then also, as we talked about, if we look over on the ADA Lite wallet, we see the DNews 1 ID and the DNews 2 ID. And again, as a reminder, it doesn't matter uh, which one you stake to, DNews 1 or DNews 2. Uh, there's no risk of being oversaturated right now. We're only at 30 million and the max is at 62 million. So now let's finish up delegating to the ADA Lite wallet. Getting pool info, DNews 5%, everything else there. So the fee, of course, is for Cardano. That is just one of those fees that they have. And we're going to simply click on Delegate. So Pool ID, Digital Asset News, D News, Ticker, 
fixed costs, all those things we talked about, then confirm transaction. And it's going to sync the wallet. And then here we go. And don't be alarmed. The uh, delegate stake will always go back to the default ADA Lite. But if you see the staking rewards history on the left-hand side, you can see that the uh, pool is digital asset news. Also over on the right-hand side, current delegation, ticker D news, and everything else right there. And lastly, I want to mention this. If you go back to the website and go up to about D news, there's a link right here as far as transparency. When you click on this, this will show go you to adapools.org and it will show you exactly how the pool is actually doing over time. So you can take a look right here as far as performance, blocks, rewards, delegators, and about. Of course, we are new uh, right now, so uh, we will definitely be growing, and uh, this is the place to check all that out. All right. And now as an update, we've added a couple more pieces of information so you can stay up to date with what is actually going on with the DNews stake pool. So under transparency, we have DNews 1 and DNews 2. If you click on DNews 1, you can, that and it'll take you to what is going on with DNews. And one thing I want you to, to pay attention to is the uh, return on ADA, which is monthly. And we are we are right now garnishing 5.47%. Again, pretty great considering that the industry average is 4 to 6%. And the return on ADA lifetime is 5.57. So again, doing our job, doing great things. And lastly, a couple more pieces of information to go over. If you go to danteachescrypto.com, uh, and then on the very top, it'll say uh, Cardano Staking Pool. And of course, this is the, the site we're, all, we're going to. When you scroll down, there's two pieces of information that we added in, which is the saturation level. So just like we saw with uh, pools.pm, when you click on view, you can check take a look at the saturation level for DNews 1 and DNews 2, and just take a look and make sure that they are not saturated. Again, maximum is 63 million. We are definitely under that. So we've got uh, DNews 1 here, and then DNews 2, and we're looking pretty good. So you can always be up to date with what is going on. So that is the first part. Uh, and you can always, of course, find that right here as far as the transparency as well. And then the second part, which is a major change, and I, this is the, um, the direction we are going to go with this pool. Now for the description of both of our pools, it says, okay, you know, this is the official staking pool, digital asset news, power max of Azure. But this last sentence is super important. And it talks about the proceeds given every epoch to help the global unbanked through kiva.org. What are we talking about here? Well, what is going on with is, is that every epic, we are going to be giving these what's called micro loans to the organization of Kiva. And the reason why we're doing this is because when we give the charities, we never really know what it's going, but with micro loans, we can give this to pretty much anybody we want to throughout the entire world for the underserved and unbanked. So you can you can break this down into you know women, shelter, arts, agriculture, uh, education, tech, health, water, refugees, whatever else you want to. And we've already donated up to five hundred dollars. Uh, for this cause and again this could be anything from like uh, you know somebody in um, Nicaragua who needs uh, to buy more rice for their for their shop or somebody who in uh, in Kenya needs a, uh, a water pump uh, for their business but again these are micro loans and this is what we're doing every epic so we'll be giving 100 ADA every epic now we have to uh, exchange that for dollars so you know today uh, uh, Cardano is worth about a dollar fifteen, so that's about one hundred fifteen dollars. But in the future, Cardano could be you know three dollars or five dollars or ten dollars. So yeah, it just depends. So this is what we are doing and moving forward. So just know that if you are staking to D News, there is a much bigger purpose uh, for what we are doing here. So again, this is Kiva.org, and you can find the link for that this website in all my YouTube videos. You can also find it on on the web page. And the great thing about Kiva.org is that it's been around for over fourteen years, and the person that founded it was the one of the founders of PayPal. So that's a very structured place. Uh, it's been doing good for a very long time. And uh, we're happy to be a, a part of what is going on here to make the world just a little bit better. Okay. All right. So I hope that made sense. So look, today I'm going to go into a deeper dive into what this means for uh, the crypto markets in general, what's going on with staking as far as like with, with centralized actors and decentralized actors and go from there. But that'll be a, a video later today. I just want to kind of put this out just to have people think about the way in which things are being staked right now and, uh, you know, how these things are actually going to affect us moving forward. But that's it for today. So look, if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, all the things that we talk about are extremely time sensitive, as you can see right there. And uh, that is it. So thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate you. And I'll see you on the next one.